Hey guys, this is Jom and welcome to Civil Raj, Raj, your gateway to future. So guys, this is going to be the last video of the series where we are learning how to study the structural drawing. And today we are going to talk about an important structural element uh, for the structural drawing of a building that is chajja and lintel details. Understanding these elements is crucial for architects, engineers and contractors to ensure the safety and stability of the building structures. So let's dive in and learn more about it. So first question is what is chajja? A chajja is an overhanging projection or horizontal sunshade that is constructed over a door or window. It protects the building from rainwater and sun rays. The projection can be made of RCC or any other suitable material. The thickness and width of the chajja depends on the dimensions or the opening and the load that it needs to support. Okay, so we always have to like uh, design it for every individual project but normally if it is just a little bit of the projection then it can be just ignored and we can use the same details for every uh, other building over there okay now the question is what is lintel okay so a lintel is a horizontal structural element that spans over the opening of a door window or any other opening in the building it's uh, like uh, ventilators okay it supports the weight of the wall above the opening and transfers it to the adjacent walls lintels are typically made of the reinforced concrete or steel and their dimensions depends on the width and the height of the opening and the load that it needs to carry so it is quite clear that uh, if you are using different materials, uh, like uh, if you are using a uh, red brick in one project, a flyish brick in another project, if the building height is varying, the lintel height is varying, then obviously you will have to redesign the lintel beams all over the places. Okay, but uh, normally if you are using a, a same building height and a same um, material for the building, then you can use the same detail in the other project. Uh, but when the materials are changed, when the building height is changed, in these two cases, you definitely need to redesign the lintel beams. Okay, now I am going to tell you uh, like uh, uh, what uh, are the details that need to be included in the structural drawing of the chajja and lintel. So first of all, there is a notes section in every structural drawing and that says that this uh, like a uh, drawing is to be uh, studied in uh, like in assistance with the architectural plan so whenever you consult an architect uh, they give you the plan they give you the elevations uh, and uh, once the work of the architect is completed after that the work of the civil engineer starts so architects gives you the exact dimensions like where everything is placed so it will give you the exact dimension of where the doors and windows are placed and where we have to construct the chajja so they uh, you will get the details of uh, uh, dimensions from the architectural plan and then you will also read the structural drawings so to read the structural details okay why i'm saying so because i am going to tell you the five different points that uh, are need to be mentioned when we are talking about the chaja details. So first point is thickness and width of the chaja. So that will be included in the structural drawing itself and I will show that uh, like show you what are those details in our particular project that we are studying from the start in this series. Okay, so I will show you in a minute. After that, the second important thing is the dimension and the opening over which the chajja is constructed. So for this, you will have to study the uh, like uh, details of the elevations that I don't have right now. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh, but uh, like obviously the work of the architect was completed and after that we have uh, uh, like uh, constructed uh, like uh, designed everything so i had that but not right now in my laptop so i cannot show you that okay uh, but uh, i will try to just uh, make another series where i will just study the crystal details of this whole project okay now the third thing is the material used for the construction of chajja okay so in our project uh, we are using the material that is rcc member so uh, like this is a proper rcc beam that is uh, to be like proper rcc you can say slab okay which can be used as a chajja some uh, in some places you can also like see that wooden extensions are provided or some uh, where you can see the metallic uh, uh, like uh, sheds are also provided in place of the chajja where like uh, there will be two dots coming out of it and then you will see that uh, okay some kind of uh, asbestos sheet is also placed uh, so these are the things that we need to do but normally it is a rcc structure okay 
in our project it is a rcc structure now the sec uh, fourth thing is the distance between the columns and the walls that supports the chhaja okay so suppose here is a column here is a another column or you can say here is another wall so you need to have the distance from both the ends so that you can is like specify where the chhaja is to be placed okay so that you will get from the elevation point then comes the fifth point that is the size and the spacing of the reinforcement bars used in the chhaja so that i will show you for this project okay so i am just going to share my screen with you and i will show you the chhaja details over here so you can see this is the details of the chhaja over here so you can see uh, like what is the uh, width of the this uh, beam that is coming from here so this is the lintel beam uh, mostly and uh, uh, this lintel beam uh, is here and after that we have the projection over here for the chhaja so you can see the depth of the lintel beam is uh, 150 mm however uh, this uh, like uh, particular width of the chhaja or you can say the thickness of the chhaja over here is how much uh, this is 50 mm okay and then what is the length from of this beam or you can say the width of this beam that is 250 mm however the uh, extensions of the chhaja is 450 mm so if you want to like uh, convert it then i will also take the help of the calculator and i will convert it okay so uh, 450 mm uh, so how much is uh, 25.4 is 1 inch uh, so 25.4 mm is 1 inch so 450 uh, divided by 25.4 so that is 17. Or seven one inches, which is twelve and one. Yeah, so it's almost eighteen inches. So it's a one and half feet. Okay, uh, this extension of the chaja is one and half feet over here. Okay, now what are the rods that are being used over here? So this is the bar. You can see we have this bar. Okay, and this bar is eight t spaced at one fifty cent mm center to center. That means eight mm bars are being used over here. Then this. Uh, you can say this bar okay uh, is of 6 uh, six, uh, six bars of 10 mm dia okay so these are the bars that are supporting the uh, reinforcement in this particular lintel beam or uh, yeah so this is the lintel beam and the uh, beam uh, sorry the reinforcement in the chhaja is 8 mm dia bars uh, spaced at 150 mm center to center i guess everything is clear over here for the chhaja and now we will talk about the details of the lintel beam so obviously la, like we need to find some details in the uh, chhaja we also need five different uh, uh, details for the lintel beam in our structural drawing so what are those so those things are um, like a uh, uh, first thing is the dimension of the lintel including the okay just a moment yeah so first thing is uh, and dimension of the lintel including the length width and height okay so you can see here we have our lintel and uh, you can clearly see the dimensions uh, that is uh, the depth is which is also known as the height okay that is 150 mm the width is 250 mm and the length that will depend upon where it has to be placed okay so the next thing that we need to know is the second uh, point is uh, the materials used for the construction of lintel so in our case it is rcc and uh, uh, it depends from project to project somewhere we have to construct the wooden house so there mostly we have the wooden lintel thing wooden uh, beams for the lintels uh, and they are hard uh, used of very high quality or you can say the rich quality of the timbers are being used over there then uh, uh, in uh, some wooden structures also we use the rcc members as the uh, like uh, beam for the lintels then the third point that we need to uh, know for the lintel is uh, the load that the lintel needs to support now the question is how we can uh, be uh, like uh, and be knowing about the load uh, of the lintel so how it varies from uh, like project, project to project so first thing is uh, that uh, uh, if you have a different height uh, like uh, of the building like uh, in some cases normally the standard height is 10 ft 6 inches but in some cases the building height is also 10 ft and uh, in some cases the building height is 11 ft 12 ft so it goes like that but the lintel is normally placed at 7 ft okay so what we have to do over there in that case 
we have to uh, like increase the load that is provided f of the lintel and that's how we have to do the calculations so it depends upon the materials uh, or you can say the bricks that we are using if it is a shear wall then we will have to go for that however if it is a shear wall we do not need to construct any uh, lintel from like any other portion but yeah uh, for the brick uh, brick walls we need to increase the load if the building height is increased and uh, uh, it also depends upon the materials for, for the brick that is being used okay if it is a double ac block or if it is a fly ash brick or if it is a uh, like a red brick so every brick is having a different density so we will have to construct according to that then uh, fourth point is the distance between the adjacent columns on the walls that supports the lintel i have already explained it uh, in um, and like uh, just now for the chajja topic <laughs> so we do not need to uh, like invest more time on this the size and this a uh, fifth point is the size and the spacing of the reinforcement bars used in the lintel so i will just show you the autocad drawing and over there you can see uh, the details of the reinforcement over there so you can see that i have already explained the size of the lintel that is being used over there above it we have the walls and uh, this uh, height is need to be compensated because uh, this lintel beam will take up this portion of the uh, like uh, load only okay and now you can see the main bars are of uh, you or you can see these bars are uh, three bars of 12 mm dia on the top and three bars of 12 mm dia at the bottom and then we have this uh, like uh, stirrups you can say so these stirrups are 8 mm dia bars and these are to be placed at 150 mm center to center spacing okay so guys uh, this was all about uh, uh, the chajja and lintel details and uh, to sum up all this thing we can say that uh, uh, chajja and lintel details are the crucial elements in the structural drawing of a building and uh, architects and engineers and contractors need to pay close attention to these details to ensure the safety and the stability of the building structure by following these guidelines, so we can ensure that the chajja and lintel details can bear the loads and perform their functions effectively. Now, one more thing that I want to uh, tell you over here is, uh, in, uh, uh, like, uh, just let me share my screen again. In the last video where I had explained the l shaped staircase, I have not explained this uh, section BB over here. Okay, and there is one more thing over here that is the uh, details of the tie beam. Okay, or you can say the LB over here so this uh, landing beam that you can see over here this landing beam uh, is uh, having this detail that is it is of uh, the cross section of this beam is uh, 300 by 350 and uh, uh, the reinforcement that is being used over here is uh, four uh, bars of 16 mm dia and uh, if you will just uh, have a look at this particular section bb so you can see uh, you already know how to like uh, read out all the details from the staircase it's just like uh, the uh, previous one the section a and uh, you can see there is one landing over here another over here <coughs> details of the beams are same and uh, i've already checked that so there is no need so for the reinforcement or uh, details of the reinforcement okay sorry not beams yeah so my bad my bad okay so you can easily check out the reinforcement details from here and uh, if you have any kind of confusion you can simply uh ask uh, drop your question in the comment uh, box and if you find this video or this whole video series useful then hit the like button and also share this video with uh, all the needy people and uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel civil raja that will motivate me to make more videos like this and um, if you want to join our professional training you can simply check out uh, our course details in the description and if you want some recorded sessions there are few recorded sessions like the on building planning in autocad on uh, sketchup course i have already prepared the recorded session so that you can check it out from my video description and uh, or in my civil raja app so there is a and for all the android users you can see uh, that uh, we go to the play store over that you will find the civil raja app and you can find the courses that are paid courses obviously so you can simply enroll from there and uh, for now the sketchup course is free so you can go ahead and enjoy that okay uh, it's, uh like uh, learn from there and um, this offer is uh, like i am planning to keep this uh, course for free uh, for april and may 2023 so i will make another video on how to use the courses and everything um and uh, till then yeah keep practicing 
and if you have any kind of thing in your mind like any other topic that you need to know then you can simply drop that in the comment section i will definitely make a video on that okay so guys take care bye bye